a group of ZANU-PF leadership in Midlands Province aligned to President Emerson Umningagwa's faction are plotting to block hearings for ED allies who face potential expulsion from the party for protest votes in the August 23rd national elections. Tensions have surged as the Umningagwa faction endeavors to obstruct disciplinary proceedings against those who lost in primary elections and allegedly sought protest votes against the winning candidates in the August 23rd polls. An initial memo from acting ZANU-PF Midlands Provincial Chairperson Edson Chirinj announced disciplinary hearings for December 6. However, in a subsequent memo, Chirinj abruptly cancelled the scheduled hearings, stating, All notices of hearings and prohibition orders issued out are no longer valid. Sources indicate that the directive to block the hearings originated from higher offices at the party headquarters in Harare particularly due to concerns that Umingagwa allies, including Justice Mayor Wadiagina, could face disciplinary action. Wadiagina, accused of sabotaging campaign rallies and canvassing protest votes, had been suspended after losing in the primaries. The cancellation of hearings has sparked division within the party, with insiders expressing dismay over the perceived compromise of party principles. Concerns are raised about the weakening of the party due to a lack of consequences for indiscipline, heightening tension within ZANU-PF. Critics argue that the absence of visible punishment for those who aired before the August 23rd elections impedes internal healing and disrupts party affairs in the Midlands. Discontent is exacerbated by historical controversies, such as the exemption of Umingagwa's allies from challenges in the primary elections earlier this year. The turmoil extends to accusations of rigging in various constituencies and the imposition of candidates ahead of elections. Recent developments, wherein Umingagwa's allies are pardoned before disciplinary hearings, worsen existing tension within the ruling party in the Midlands province. The situation prompts reflection on ZANU-PF's internal dynamics. With concerns raised about the impact on party unity and the potential consequences for the upcoming general elections.